Hey there, Jeff with Practically Tactical. I'm here with Bob from Ohio Ordnance and a uh, super cool video, one that I'm always uh, very excited to see. This is like the actual reason that I like to go to SHOT Show is for reasons like this, which is the H car. You may have seen it in, what, what publications has been featured in? Been in uh, Shotgun News, American Rifleman, a uh, couple of independent blogs, a bunch of the other uh, small media outlets. So. Uh, I've, I've admired Ohio Ordnance uh, for a while for what you've been doing with, with BAR is just kind of like taking a classic rifle and, you know, adding modern machinery and stuff like that. But tell us a little bit about this one because this is uh, an offshoot of the BAR sure. and it's kind of a modernized one. Sure. Yeah. So early on, what sparked the idea is we had some uh, some customers of the, of the World War II BAR that we do ask uh, as they got older, uh, and their eyesight went bad if we could put some scope rails on the top, uh, replace the top plate with some scope rails, and maybe do something with the stock to enable them to continue to shoot uh, competitively, but without having to use the iron sights, because the original BAR didn't come with any kind of scope rail or anything. Right. So that kind of morphed into making a few mods to the top cover, or uh, the top plate, and, and adding a rail system. And then we said, well, hey, why don't we just modernize the whole thing? And uh, the, the owner's son, Robert Landy's, kind of took on the project. He lightened the gun uh, from about 19 pounds to 11 and a half. We put some some different dimpling on the barrels to allow for uh, more surface area, more cooling. We added the, the adjustable six position stock. We added a hydraulic buffer system. Wow. Um, you know, this is more of the, uh, the carbon fiber uh, hand guard and uh, trigger housing. And then we, we came up with a proprietary 30 round magazine for it just to kind of round the thing all out, add more firepower to it. Now, will this fit the original BAR as well? Yeah, it will fit the original BAR. Um, it's it's modified to, to work with the hold open uh, device on the H car, but it will fit into the BAR, you just won't get the hold open. Gotcha. So. Well, I mean, it's really cool, um, and it's it's interesting. The weight as compared to, to like a regular BAR. It's very mm -hmm. front heavy, which is nice, because you, I can imagine that this is just a real pleasant shooter. Yeah, you know, one of the key things was, was taking the uh, angle of recoil, you know, on the original BAR, they had the 24 inch barrel and you had an eight degree angle of recoil. So in order to use a 16 inch barrel, and, and this is the new 20 inch barrel that's coming out this year, um, you still, we wanted to avoid any kind of muzzle rise with that eight degree uh, recoil. So we, we made actually a linear recoil. Uh, we straightened out the recoil and added a hydraulic buffer system. So now it comes straight back wow. instead of that eight degree. And you really don't get any of that muzzle rise and it allows you to stay on target without any issues. That's really, really cool. Well, hopefully we can get one of these out and test it. I just yeah. drop that in there. Thanks a lot, Bob. Yeah. Any other you points guys. you have uh, about this rifle? or No, just that we got the 20-incher the that's coming out this year. Uh, we just started producing that um, December of 2015, and we're rolling it out uh, in here in 2016. So we got the 16-incher, we got the 20-incher. It comes in black, a couple 30-round magazines, mm -hmm. uh, hard case, cleaning kit, and uh, just... Ohioordinanceworks.com, you can check it out. Cool, and these are surprisingly accurate, I've heard, as well. Very accurate, yeah, we're shooting a minute of angle out to about a thousand yards, half MOA at 600 yards and some change. So we're gonna have all those kind of specs. We got an independent company verifying the, the accuracy and the ballistics on that. We'll have that information coming out in our email marketing and on our website, but um, yeah, it shoots half, half MOA to MOA at a thousand yards, so it awesome. gets out there. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for the interview, Bob. You can get more information at Ohio Ordnance Works, and uh, I may just have to keep this. But I'm Jeff with Practically Tactical. If you like this video, go ahead and like below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next video.